move over Louis Vuitton Never Fools, and also move over the Prada Galleria Tote. Now, even though those are some tried and true luxury work bag staples, today I'm gonna to talk to you about some other exciting luxury work bag alternatives that you can try if you're either starting a new job and you wanna treat yourself to a new little work bag, or maybe like yours has been through some things and you might wanna replace it, I have got a whole variety of luxury bags for you and I'm sure there's something on this list that you're gonna like. So let's get started with number one with the nine to five leather tote from Jimmy Choo. Now, you all might notice that this bag is very similar to another bag that I am a huge fan of and it's very similar to the Saint Laurent shopping tote that you have here. If you'll notice, it's got a very similar shape because these are both the east-west style, which is great. Also, you'll notice that they both have a little bit of a branded luggage tag here. And you'll also notice that they both also have, and excuse the tissue paper here, a detachable little insert on the inside. But the great thing about the Jimmy Choo version is that this bag is only $995. Now, a couple years ago, the Saint Laurent shopping tote was less than $1,000, but as of today, and who knows, there may be another Saint Laurent price increase between when I film this and when it goes live. As of right now, it is now $1,450. So that is a pretty penny for what is a fairly basic tote bag. And so I think that if you really like the Saint Laurent shopping tote, take a look at the Jimmy Choo one instead because you'll be able to save about $500, maybe $600 when you take into account tax. And one thing that I love about this bag, you know, it's very similar. It's a wide open tote bag. So it's nice because you can decide how to organize it. You can get a bag organizer for it. But um, in addition to having, you know, the detachable pouch, which I think really adds to the overall value of the bag, this comes in so many different colors and materials. Obviously, you've got different gorgeous colors of leathers, but there are also suede, which can be really nice, although not as durable as like a regular leather. So for a work bag, I don't know if suede is the right idea, but if you take care of your things, maybe it could be the right one for you. They even have some gorgeous glittery metallic versions. So this bag comes in so many different colors and fabrications, and at the best price point on this list, being only $995, this is a great option for a lot of you out there. Now, next up on the list, we have a little bit more of a stylish version, something for you fashion lovers out there. I have the Bottega Veneta Medium Arco Tote. Now, in the medium size and regular leather, it is $3,300, but this bag does come in different sizes, so you can get a smaller size, but obviously in terms of this list, thinking about work bags, I'm trying to go with like bigger tote bag sizes so that way you can fit easily like your laptop, an iPad, maybe like a change of clothes if you wanna work out afterwards. You know, I want you to have space. And so the medium size I think is the right one for work. And what I really like about this one is that it's actually very similar in nature to the Jimmy Choo bag that we just looked at. Cause it's a big open tote bag. It's got that detachable, you know, little SLG on the inside. So you've got this pouch where you can put your little goodies in there, which is always nice. Um, but it's got that beautiful oversize in Tricchiato and Tricciato, I don't know how to say it, weave that Bottega Veneta is known for, but it doesn't scream Bottega. So this is really nice for you luxury lovers. It's one of these like insider circle ones where if you know, you know, but if you don't know, no one's gonna be none the wiser that you're wearing a luxury bag. And sometimes in the workplace, it can be nice to have a more understated bag. So it's just one of the many reasons why I love this bag. Again, also it comes in a variety of different colors. I mean, I love this parakeet color, but it might be a little bit too bright for you all. So they also have a lot of neutrals too, a lot of different colors that you can choose from. So another great option for you. Now, when I was thinking about Bottega Veneta, I couldn't help but think about Burberry because as a lot of you know, uh, Bottega Veneta's old creative director, Daniel Lee, the one who was totally responsible for the big resurgence of Bottega, has recently stepped over and is now the creative director at Burberry. So I feel like Burberry is going to be going through a lot of changes in the near future. And I feel like they've been trying to reinvent themselves because Burberry never really managed to get the mix right with like influencers and social and creating any it bags. So I feel like Daniel Lee is going to be able to do some good there. But I will say that I absolutely love this TB tote from Burberry because this is incredibly chic. 
This is a very elevated work bag. I would say this is great, especially like if you work in finance, like you investment bankers out there, also you consultants. I mean, this is a very elegant bag with its sharp angles, its sharp corners. It's got a little bit of the elegant, you know, gold Burberry detail. Now it is for the most part, pretty open on the inside. It doesn't come with any type of little SLG or insert like the other bags that we've just looked at but it does have some pockets on the side and some with a zipper. So I feel like you are gonna get some good organization in this bag. And again, this does look to be a good size. So you should be able to fit, you know, just about anything you need in here, but in a more classed up way. Because obviously tote bags can often feel quite casual, quite laid back. And so sometimes for you want something to feel like a little bit more buttoned up. And if that's what you're looking for, I really think you should take a look at this bag. Now, next up, I absolutely love this Osa Circle Leather Tote Bag from, is it Kaiti? I think that's how you say it. <laughs> Probably have it wrong. Correct me down in the comments below. But I love this circular tote bag because it's different. Instead of having a typical, you know, rectangular or square shaped base, it's got a circle. And so the bag has more dimension. It's more 3D. It's got a little bit more life and personality in it. So if you like to have something a little bit different, like you're not totally wackadoodle, right? Like you're not someone who wants to make covered in glitter, but you want something that's understated, but still feels different. I think that this is a really interesting shape. And also what I love about it is that by having a circle bottom, it definitely will stand up on its own, which is nice because I really hate it when my tote bags flop over when they don't have anything in it. And I feel like the circle shape will really allow it to stand on its own. Now, if any of y'all have this bag, please verify down in the comments below if it does in fact stand on its own, but it looks like it would. So I think this is a great option. And this is another one that does come with a removable pouch insert because it's totally open on the inside. So. You're noticing a recurring theme. I think a lot of designers are starting to realize that people like to decide how they wanna use their bags. So they're creating them more on the open side, but giving you that little SLG pouch to put your necessities, put your little intimate items in there if needed. And then if you want more organization, you can get a bag organizer, but they're not really like truncating how you can organize things by going ahead and putting different types of dividers and compartments in there, which I really like. So I feel like this is a really interesting option, especially if you're looking for something different. Now I know that this Brunello Cuccinelli bag is very expensive, but honestly, Cuccinelli stuff is expensive. Like. I aspire to be at the level of luxury shopping in my life where I can wear all types of gorgeous like cashmere and sweaters and, and beautiful neutrals from Cuccinelli every single day of my life and not bat an eye. I'm not there yet, but I hope to get there. But for those of you that are really in that like next tier of price point, I think that this is a really elegant bag. First off, I love this tote bag because I love this like dark chocolatey espresso color. I mean, she just feels rich, right? And then it's great because for those of you that like sparkle, it's got a little bit of sparkle up at the top, but it's not like an in your face sparkle. It's not necessarily an evening sparkle. Like this is something that I feel like is very appropriate for both day and night. So the sparkle is just more of like a little compliment to the overall bag. It's just a little bit of like extra design element. And so I like this because it feels special, it feels different. And again, unless someone is very familiar with Brunello Cuccinelli, like unless they're really like staring at the label, a lot of people actually wouldn't know that this is a luxury bag. You know, a lot of you all have said you're tired of logos, you're tired of things that are so in your face luxury. And this looks like a gorgeous alternative. And yes, this one does come with an inner pouch and it actually seems to be a lot bigger than some of the other pouches that we've seen. It feels a bit wider. So that's also nice because I feel like you can probably fit a lot more inside of this pouch. So if you've got about $5,000, $6,000 spend on a tote bag, I really think this is one you should take a look at. Now for my diehard fashion girls, for those of you that really want to make a statement with your bag, like you want someone to ask you about your bag, you have to take a look at this one from Alaya. Obviously, Alaya does beautiful laser cutting with all the intricate details. So I think that's one of the things that is really key to the DNA of Alaya and makes it so beautiful and makes it so unique. 
but I feel like a lot of times their cutout stuff, it's very light and it reads very summertime. And this actually, to me, like a dark color feels like more all year round. Maybe it's because of like the little grommet details that it has throughout that makes it feel more evergreen. But this is such a special bag. This is such a statement bag. Now this one does also come with a removable SLG, which is great. But since the overall bag is pretty see-through, I feel like it would be a good idea to get a few more pouches or get some type of light color bag organizer in there. So that way your things are a bit more concealed. A from just like a privacy standpoint, but B also to make sure you're like not targeted for anything. Like if people like are looking to steal your laptop, if they can see a laptop, they know that you are someone they might want to rob. Um, but also, you know, get some more pouches so that way you can kind of conceal like your little intimate goods, things like that. So that way you're not attracting the wrong type of attention. This bag with those pouches is definitely going to get you the right type of attention. Now to be totally honest, I'm not sure why Tom Ford bags aren't more popular, but look at this really chic tote from Tom Ford. I mean, this is textbook Tom with like being very classy, very elegant, very sophisticated and just like upmarket, but also sexy. Like that is Tom Ford to a T, you know, that is definitely like what he was responsible for when he was at Gucci. And so, I mean, I just don't understand why Tom Ford bags aren't more popular, but I absolutely love this one here with the golden TF logo and the little tab over the front, which gives you a nice little bit of added security. Now it doesn't appear that this one comes with any additional type of removable SLG, but this one does have some pockets on the inside. It looks like it's got a few amount of like flat pockets on there. So again, it is a bit more of an open shape. There's not too much organization, but you do have some slots on the outside if you want to put, you know, some paper, some cards, pens, things like that, maybe like your lipsticks and stuff. So it does have a little bit of organization, but this could be another one that would benefit from a bag organizer. Now I've mentioned tote bags from Ferragamo before on this channel, especially when I was talking about like alternatives to the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. And that's because I really do feel like Ferragamo goods are great quality, they are classic, and they are timeless, and they are understated. And I feel like those are oftentimes, depending on your personality, really good things to have in a work bag. And so I really love this one from Ferragamo because, you know, very similar to the one we just looked at, it's got that nice little tab on the top, so you've got a little bit of extra security. And this one also does have that beautiful, like, sleek and sophisticated look again like this feels very expensive and honestly like in terms of the pricing of a lot of the bags on this list this is on the cheaper side unfortunately the days of luxury totes that are less than a thousand dollars for the most part are behind us so i'd say about fifteen hundred dollars is probably you know the cheapest you're gonna find a luxury tote bag for so I'm really loving this one. And again, it comes in lots of different colors. They bring it out every season. Sometimes they'll do like a fun little a pattern version or a cutout version. So always be taking a look, even if you don't want this specific one, you know, here in black, there are other ones too. I saw this really gorgeous, if I can find a photo of it, I'll throw it up. I think it was called like Olivello, but it was like a mustardy yellow color, which I thought was really beautiful. Maybe potentially a bit bright in terms of an everyday work bag, but like if you work in a creative field, I mean, a yellow high class work bag might be exactly what it is you're looking for. So honestly, like don't rule it out, you know, just depending on who you are. And just like most of the other bags on this list, this one does have a little removable SLG. Now granted, I'll be honest, I'm not crazy about the print on the SLG. I think it's like a little postcard or something. So eh, I don't love that so much, but if that doesn't bother you, you are still getting that little SLG along with the bag. So it does make this a really good value for money. And I think it's a perfect way to end up this list. So let me know what you thought about these bags. Do you think that these would be some great work bags? Has these given you any ideas for new ones that you might want to try? Definitely let me know down in the comments below because I would love to hear your thoughts on these bags. And also if any of you all have any of these bags, also share your thoughts down in the comments below just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I would really love it if you could just give this video a little like. So give it a little thumbs up down in the corner below. And if you haven't already, what are you doing? You need to subscribe to my channel. So that way you can get all my latest content about all things shopping delivered straight to you. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Lily and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye everyone.